So for today, we're talking about the Razer Barracuda X. We're actually going to talk about the differences in the Razer Barracuda X tw from 2021 and the edition from 2022. At this point, I'm like 90% sure I found the best wireless headset under $100. But the problem is, there's two of them. I haven't really tested all the headsets that contenders for this best headsets on the $100, but there's one left that I need to test. Stay tuned for that on the channel. The Razer Barracuda X 2022 is not a V2 model of the 2021. According to my research, it's just a refreshed version of the 2021. This means that this is not something, a product that's going to live side by side, but it really means that once the 2021 model is uh, sold out in stock of all the retailers then it's just going to simply going to get replaced by the 2022 model but that's just not how it works in real life all the retailers and according to my research still have the 2021 model and the 2022 model but there is a price difference about 15 to 30 dollars or so i bought both of the headsets so i can give you my real recommendation of which one of these you should buy and if it's worth the upgrade. Let's talk about similarities. This on the right here is my 2021 model and this is the 2022 model. And as you can see right away, it has the same design. I really think that this is one of the best designs on a gaming headsets that's out there right now. There's no flashy RGB and no like overhyped colors and anything, it's just black simple and I know the design maybe doesn't really matter when you're just using it for gaming or listening to audio or something at home. I really think that this is some of, one of the best looking headsets. Both of the headsets also have the same audio driver. It has a such good audio experience. To my opinion, it's one of the best audio headsets, headsets I've tested and this includes much more expensive headsets. I think it sounds good for gaming, it sounds good for editing, listening to podcasts and being on YouTube. Everything I've tried with this headset, it's some, one of the best, but I know this is just my opinion, but I think it's one of the best. It has a good microphone, both of them still have the same microphone. Instead of I just talk about it, didn't just listen to this test. This is a raw microphone test. It's recorded with the Razer Barracuda X. I have not changed anything with the audio other than adjusting the levels to be as loud as the rest of the video. I'm now recording with the Razer Barracuda X inside of OBS Studio, just with the slight equalizer on the sound and a tiny bit of compression makes this sound more full and makes this good enough for content creators out there. Just imagine that with a headset under $100, you have both the headset's quality that's good enough for gaming and a microphone quality good enough for you to be the next faceless content creator. Both of the headsets uses hyperspeed dongle in USB-C, but as you can see here, there's a pin at this slight minor design change. This one is the original design and this one is the refresh design. I guess that some were tired of this blocking two ports, like one from side to side. No matter how you turn this, this would always be blocking ports, while this is only blocking ports one way. So I'm guessing this is just a minor design change they made from feedback from the users of the headset. The connection speed in this, the 2.4 gigahertz hyperspeed connectivity, is what makes this wireless headset good enough for gaming the super fast low latency a connectivity and even faster than some cheaper wired headset are so these are really good and if you're starting and thinking about wanting to use a wireless headset then don't use bluetooth use hyperspeed or light speed from logitech instead let's just talk about the few things you get in the 2022 model that you don't get in the 2021 model maybe it's worth it for you to pay those 15 to 30 extra dollars. See, the one thing you get in this 2022 model is Bluetooth connectivity besides the hyperspeed. So if you want to connect it to an iPad or to an iPhone or something that doesn't support the USB-C dongle, the 2021 model does not allow you to do that, but the 2022 model allows you to connect via Bluetooth. But personally, I don't really think that this is a plus 
I have just fat fingered my way to switch it to Bluetooth while using the headset. And this is a problem if you were gaming while doing this. I just tried to I couldn't remember what setting I was trying to do on my headset, but I actually then switched it onto the Bluetooth connectivity and I didn't know what was wrong immediately. So I thought there was something wrong with my headset, but it uh, seems that I just switched the connection form. So I would actually prefer the headset without the Bluetooth connectivity. If you're never going to use that, it's not worth having in that extra feature. But of course, if you need the Bluetooth connectivity, it's worth it for you. But then there's just this one extra thing which might be more worth it to you. The 2022 model versus the 2021 model. This one has a 50 hour battery while the 2021 model have a 20 hour battery. This is a crazy difference. 50 hours of battery is like a week of just grinding in front of the PC. But let's be honest here, 20 hours is also really great. I have been maining a headset for six to seven months now that have about 30 hours of battery. The thing is, it's never really a pro problem here with the 30 or 20 hours versus the 50 hours. I just remembered to put my my old headset in every hour or every third day and then was good enough. Also, there is one reason that 50 hours versus 20 hours is not a real problem for anyone because these headsets both charge via USB-C. This means that you get super fast charging via USB-C and if you need some power on your headset and if it starts to run dry, you can simply just plug it in for 10 minutes or so and then you have power for the rest of the day. So let's say it starts uh, telling you it needs some power, then put it in and go to the bathroom or go to a, take a water break, make some coffee, uh, do some stretches, stretch your legs or something else. And then you have power for the rest of the day and then just remember to charge it afterward. So I still have one headset that I need to test in, uh, before I can say that this is actually the best headset under $100. But I can firmly say that I don't think that the, the big difference between the 2022 and 2021 20, uh, matter as much. I'd rather have the $30 if I'm honest. And I can most certainly say that if you already have the 2021 model, then there is no reason at all to upgrade to the 2022 model. If I'm done testing all the wireless headsets under $100, then I'm going to put the video up here. Otherwise, I'm going to put in another video that might be exciting to you. Thank you for watching. Maybe I'll see you in the comments 